So you've got this clip here from Sean B. And then the car just does the U-turn without looking, but he stops to give the dirty look. But instead of looking where he's going, then it's the other car straight away. And there he is. There's the look. That look that says I'm blameless, shameless, and also brainless. <laughs> okay, so staying on the theme of not looking before you turn, you've got this clip from Jane Pierre. You've got this white car waiting to pull out. Now, pay attention. You can see him. He's only looking to the right. When you're pulling out, you should be looking left and right like you're watching a game of tennis, not like this idiot looking right. Boom, and that's why you should be looking left and right. Never mind about watching tennis. Now he's going to be watching himself fill out his insurance claim form. Got this clip here from Mount 38, and he's following this Uber idiot in the Ford Galaxy. Yeah, they like a Ford Galaxy almost as like as much as they like a Toyota Prius. Clear, empty road. But that doesn't stop the Uber idiot finding something to crash into. He could be in the Gobi Desert, 100 miles away from anything, and he still finds something to crash into. <laughs> Got this next clip from Yarek, and he's in Poland. And you've got this guy here. He's too impatient in Poland. And he's not sitting behind anyone. He's too fast for that. But he's just... <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't plan on the police doing a U-turn in front of him. As he's overtaking, boom, straight into the side of the police car. Brains like kielbasa, which is Polish sausage. So staying on the theme of the sausage, you've got this brainless moron parked up outside Greg's to go and get himself a sausage roll. Look where he's parked. On the zigzag, right next to the traffic light by the pedestrian crossing. Yeah, and just like the pastry on that sausage roll he's getting, his intelligence can be described as flaky at best. So staying on the theme of brains like sausage meat and flaky intelligence, you've got this clip here from Jack. Now we're following this silver car. He pulls to the left, but the Toyota Prius with the Uber idiot driving it, coming the opposite way, pulls to the right. And look at, the, look at the gap on the Toyota Prius's left. No reason to pull to the right. And as you can see, the, the Uber idiot's got his fog lights on. And it's daytime, it's not even nighttime. A bit like him. The lights are on, but no one's home. <laughs> so you've got this clip here from Donald. And we're looking at a learner driver going in, trying to get into a tight parking space. What can go wrong? And that's exactly what can go wrong. Looks like they pressed the throttle instead of the brake. That's never a good idea going into a parking space. Learning or not. And now the woman's heard the smash. She's come out, but look what she's doing. She's styling out. She's pretending she's not being a nosy git. So she's looking to the right, but now she's going back in. She's behind the neck curtain to carry on observation. And now the, the, the driving instructor's come out to take care of the situation. He should have got her out across the passenger seat and took over, but now he's going to give her some words of advice. How to get out, but whatever those words of advice was, they was wrong. Unless those words of advice was like, floor it and take out that person's wall and door for being nosy. Boom, and there. <laughs> that L don't stand for learner. Stands for lucid, very lucid behaviour. <laughs> As for lucid behaviour, there's none more lucid than driving through a red light at a level crossing. The red lights and the barriers are designed to stop a 100 ton train coming into contact with you and your car at about 50 mile an hour. Luckily, this brainless twat had the sense to get out of the car before the train come. And that's just why, look at that. Boom. Hasta la vista, baby. Amazing they had the sense to get out of the car considering they got the intelligence of a grape seed. Okay, so staying on the theme of the useless and lifeless brain, we got this clip here from at Taxi Man London, you'll find him on X. And he's behind one of Transport for London's finest. Yeah, there's the green round with doom, dumbness and disaster in the back window, standard equipment for them. And he, this guy with this particular one, he's identified as a tax and he's using the bus lane. Well, that's why he's got the green round of a dumbness, because that dumbness just cost him £65. I am the iconic driver Zomoronic. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Sarah J. Everyone's going up the motorway the right way, but not the Burke in the Merc. The Burke in the Blue Merc comes up the wrong way because he feels entitled to do that. Intelligence of earwax. <laughs> Okay, so staying on the theme of the car going the wrong way up the motorway, you've got this clip sent in from Boxer 237. Have a look at this absolute brainless twat. Intelligence of pubic hair, this one. He's on the opposite side of the carriageway, in the outside lane of the other carriageway, going at 60, 70 mile an hour. Now, for me, this guy, he needs a lifetime ban and a prison sentence for endangering life. What do you reckon? Okay, so we've got this clip here from Watanim29, and he's following the motorcycle on the left, and the van in the right approaching a junction. What could possibly go wrong? And that's exactly what can go wrong. The van driver just decides he's going left and just don't worry. Let's have a steward's inquiry, the slow-mo. Here we go. At this point, the, the bike just knew he, he was done for. The, the, the van driver didn't look at all. Nothing. Totally oblivious to his surroundings. Spatial awareness of a bull's testicle. What an absolute twat. Anyway, let's end up with the bar cars. Let's have a look at some bikes. 
Okay, so here I am going through Stockwell following this little 125cc scooter. Big trucks going left. So where does Brainless Billy go? Straight up the inside. Absolute donut. Spatial awareness of a cockroach that just fell into a jar of LSD. Totally tripping off his face. Might be going through Stockwell, but let me tell you, his IQ belongs in northern Siberia. Minus 30 below. So speaking of ultra low IQs, you've got this one here sent in from Ivor. Now keep your eyes to the left, yeah? So everyone stopped at the red light because that's what they do. But not the entitled parent that doesn't mind putting her ch children in harm's way. Why would you do that? Absolutely brainless. It boils my blood seeing this stuff. It really does. Come on, guys. Okay, so you got this clip from Edis. Do I have to apologise about the picture quality? Not very good. Now you can see the person waiting for the green man to come up. Traffic light is red. But that means nothing to this entire cyclist. Plough straight into the pedestrian, not the cyclist's fault, of course, never their fault, pedestrian's fault, one million percent. Entitled cyclists have got more entitlement than God, but less intelligence than tooth plaque. What an absolute lemon slice. Okay, so staying on a similar thing, you've got this clip from Andy G. Now keep your eye on the red arrow, that's showing that the traffic light is red, and keep your eye on little matey there with the green arrow on his scooter. Now they're crossing the road, they're like grand green, and that's it, boom, that ignorant arrogant entitled cyclist dumaru rider let's have a stewards inquiry watch this 70 80 kilos at 15 mile an hour straight into that poor little boy just because of his arrogance and self-entitlement what an absolute brainless moron it's such a pity that the father that the father of the child weren't there to educate that rider and show him near of his ways isn't it it really really is dumb idiot man that boils my blood as well man Okay, so you've got this little clip from at Taxi Man London. He's just slowing down to let that pedestrian cross approach in the junction there. And what's that coming from the opposite side of the road? It's the entitled cyclist straight into the path of an oncoming vehicle instead of going around the back and turning right. Intelligence of rats urine. Okay, so you've got this next clip sent in from Barry X 29 It shows the cyclist going for a personal best, but he wasn't looking where he was going. Let's have a steward's inquiry. There he goes. You can see he's looking powerful, looking strong. Fastest time he's ever done down his local road, but he's not looking where he's going. Boom! Ed Butts the back of the bus, Glasgow Kiss style. He was tasting success, but the only thing he tasted was the paint on the back of the bus. <laughs> and now he's low. He looked at his watch. He said, that's four o'clock. Let's do my little lie down. I do like my lie down in the afternoon. <laughs> and this looks like a comfortable spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear man uh, so you got this clip from Eddie's here and you got this guy being chased by these two hamster sized dogs boom straight into that car there let's have a steward's inquiry here he comes looking at them very big dogs there <laughs> boom and there he goes Ed Butts another one Glasgow kissing to the bonnet <laughs> and now after all that the dogs have just run off <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway you got this little clip here from Seth looking at the level crossing and two cyclists just collided you could see the barrier coming down. They weren't stopping for that. Boom, but they stopped for each other. <laughs> oh, there's the barrier. Trying to jump the red light, never a good idea. Them two have got the, the self-preservation of kamikaze pilots and the spatial awareness of sperm tadpoles. <laughs> oh, dear. What i got for you here right at the very end, a few different pictures of this very stunning, beautiful thing of beauty. Ferrari 250 GT Coupe. Correct me if I'm wrong on the model. I'm no expert, but I think it is absolutely stunning. What I'm going to do, when I see any lovely classic cars, I'm going to stop, take some pics for you and put them up here right at the end because I do see some really nice ones, especially as the sun's out. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Any videos you've got, send them to roadmoronsvids at gmail.com. See you in the next one. Bye.